Hey, how's it going everyone? I just want to make another little video here of my IBM server. It's in X3550M2. This is the one I had installed the motherboard in. And it does have the uh, uh, integrated uh, management module to have uh, remote access to turn the server on. Let's see, so right now it is in standby. It's not on my monitor there. Okay, so yeah, I've been working on some some things here. Um, the uh, been using VirtualBox, um, VMware Workstation, uh, Proxmox. Uh, I'm running TrueNAS. I got a TrueNAS server. That's my uh, Dell T. Is it a uh, T630, T620. So there's the drives. And later on, I'm gonna upgrade this more, fill up this whole thing, probably like 32 drives or something like that. But uh, yeah, so um, I was looking at a guy's video on YouTube. Uh, it's called My Playhouse. Uh, he does a, uh, that's how I learned to, um, about the integrated management module. I went to a couple of his videos to get it, get it working. But, um, I had to actually run it in XP. Let me show you here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm running VirtualBox. Get my glasses in. See, so this is my VirtualBox. I'm actually running Windows XP and VirtualBox. Then um, over here, I'm connected to my server. Um, let's see. Power on server immediately. Okay. It just turned on. This is my um, video viewer. See, there's the server booting up. That's remote. I didn't go and touch it or nothing. Server's turning on. Turning on on that screen over here. So we have full access from this computer over here. And it is going to boot Proxmox. So I'm running, like I said, uh, VMware. Uh, I mean, no, sorry. So, so. There it goes booting up. Uh, virtual box, I'm sorry. So I'm running Windows XP because I was trying to get this viewer to come out and uh, even Windows 7, I was having a lot of trouble with um, ActiveX and um, what was the other one? Um, I forgot what the other one was. But um, yeah, I just couldn't get it to work. So. I ended up booting up Windows XP in a virtual box and um, yeah the viewer opens up I connect to my server see um, I did when I got this board this is a, um, is that a 7946 but I accidentally did a firmware update of a 7947 uh, M2. So, but it, it went through successfully and I also did some other firmware upgrades yesterday through, through here, through the IBM utility, remote utility. So you can browse and upload your, your firmware. Yeah, and a couple of those went fine too, so. Um, I guess it's actually uh, 7947 now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure, but uh, it's working. So you can monitor everything. Um, you can, like I said, you can shut it down from here. Can change all the stuff you need. So it's an integrated management module. 
um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. So in case anybody else is having little issues trying to get that to work, like I said, um, I use VirtualBox. Um, let me see, see I, I minimize this right here, and that's my regular desktop. This is Windows 11. See that? This is Windows 11. See my Intel Core i7, 920, 24 gigs of RAM, and that's out of this one right here. So it's Windows 11. Like I said, I'm running VirtualBox. I also have uh, Linux Mint and Kali Linux in VirtualBox too. So. I can, whenever I feel like running another OS, I just boot it up in VirtualBox. So, just wanted to share that. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.